Hello all, Shoestring here. The purpose of this video is I told everyone when I was doing my last video on this cheap inverter, Chinese one I got from AliExpress, that did not meet its 1600 watt requirement. Not even close. In fact, it failed at 1600, it failed at 800. And I told you I was going to look and find a use for it. No reason to throw these things out. Well, I have. I am here, and I have these wet lead acid batteries, which, as most folks know, is the bulk of any good backup solar system. I have four of them connected at the moment. One, two, three, four. And they are connected to this cheap Chinese inverter, which is at the moment successfully running. Okay, so I have it connected out here. Yes, I'm going to fix the wires. I know. But right now I'm just working on it, playing with it. So I have it out here connected to this little power strip right there. The power strip is connected to two items. First, I have a Roby 500 watt charging station right there. And it charges my electric lawnmower, which is covered up. This video is not about the lawnmower. But if you'd like a video about the lawnmower and why it's much more cost effective than a gas, please put down the comments. I'll be happy to do it. But it is 500 watts. I also have it connected to this little bug zapper right there. That is about 10. So we're just going to round off, always round up, and we're going to say 500, oh, 550, just for the fun of it. So, this inverter, cheap Chinese from AliExpress, which I've already done a review on, I will be happy to put down in the description so you can see, if you'd like to, when I opened it and tested it, I have found a use for it. Now, one point. Looks like these wires getting a little warm, so I'll just put a heavier gauge on it. Once I find it works pretty good and will continue to work, I'll put a permanent connection to that battery. Oh, and how will I charge these batteries? Well, over here is a 100 watt solar panel. I'm going to set the solar panel out into the sun and it will be charging my system up. Over here, by the way, I have a nice light set up. This is a modified sine wave. Little lights like this don't really need to pure sine waves since they're so expensive. It has a little one right here, and it has connected to one lead acid battery at the moment, and it's running it just fine. Okay, this is just a short video to show you how this is working. And I want to make sure everyone sees a usefulness I have found for it. That inverter does need a little bit of a bigger fan, so I'm probably going to do that. But at the moment, everything is running just fine. And I want everyone to see that. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like. And put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make, things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.